Okay, so here we are in Google Classroom. This is the first screen you're going to see as soon as you log in. So to get into your class, simply click on it and you'll be taken here. So you've got a nice little picture up here. You can change that to anything you like. You've got the name of your class and just over here is where you change the theme if you choose to do so. So there's three main parts here, well two in fact, that we're going to look at very quickly. First one is the stream and then the students and then about. Now about we won't actually look at, that's just general information about your class. So looking at the stream, this is a stream of information which is generally either an announcement or an assignment or questions or comments from your students. And as time goes on, there's going to be more and more information here. So in a later video, I'll actually show you how to make an assignment, but at the moment, we'll just give a quick overview. So at this stage, I've got an assignment that's been made, Planet Project, and you can see here that there are zero students have done it, um, and there's two who have not done it. So of course, I've only got two students at this stage in this class, but when it's fully populated, uh, those numbers all re reflect what's in your class. You can also see the due date there. And these are the items that I've attached. So I've got this presentation file here called Planet Project. And that's a Google Slides file. And each student is going to get a copy of this. And this is what they are to complete in the assignment. Then I've got another supporting document that I've attached here. This is just general information about the assignment. So this is just a Google Docs or a document. They can't do anything to it. Um, but that's just information on what they need to do to complete it. Then I've added a couple of website links that they will need to complete it. So if I'm to get into it, we'll just have click on the actual assignment itself and it'll take us straight to the assignment status. So these are the students in your class and as I mentioned, I've only got two in this example class here. We've got Bill Smith, he hasn't done it yet and there's no grade because of course he hasn't done it. But as they start to turn those in or submit their assignments, the status will be completed and then you'll be able to click on it and give them a grade. So then if we want to have a look at the assignment details, this is the actual assignment itself. So as you saw, this is just the same information. I can add a comment, maybe a reminder or something else you might like to uh, provide to the students. These three little buttons, that just means more. So if we want to edit the assignment, we can edit it and it'll take us back to this sheet where we can change the date, um, we can add some more files, we can delete a file or anything like that, or we can delete the general description up the top here. I'll cancel out of this at the moment. So that's just the assignment details. And as I said, we'll have a look at creating an assignment in a future video. So here we are back in the stream. Just over here, you also notice upcoming assignments. There's nothing in the near future that'll be coming up. But as the date gets closer, no doubt that'll, that'll show something's due. Students. So this uh, tab here, this is for the students in your class. We've got our two students, Bill and Joe. And basically from here, you can email the students if you need to contact them individually. Or you can check multiple ones and you'll be able to do a bulk email to those students and they'll receive that in their Gmail account. And have a quick look at about. As I said, this is just general information about your class that you can feel free to um, put in there. Title, general class description, and any other information you want to put in. So I'll cancel out of that one as well. Actually, we'll go back to stream. And that's our quick overview of Google Classrooms.